You don't need a lot of space to take advantage of cell sufficiency growing techniques. I'm going to show you how I combine my worm bin with my hydroponics to save on some space. In other words, vermicomposting with hydroponics, i.e. vermiponics. Usually, your worm bin, you will have some really rich fertilizer left over from the composting process. This can be diluted and used to put on your plants right away, or in my case, added to my hydroponic nutrient solution. Now, like with all hydroponics, you still have to monitor your pH nutrient solution. You have a bit more work since you have more unmeasured verminutrients seeping into the nutrient solution. This is one of the downsides of combining these two processes. Nevertheless, I think it's worth it because it can produce amazing amounts of plants by doubling as a worm bin in the same space. I stack two Rubbermaid bins on top of each other. The size doesn't really matter. It all depends on your space and how much you're trying to grow. The top bin is your worm bin. So you drill small holes in it so that the vermin nutrients will drain down into your reservoir underneath it. You drill one larger hole for your drain that will drain the nutrients from your grow bed back into your reservoir. For the grow beds, I use the garden trays. You can pick these up at Lowe's or Home Depot or any hydroponics store. The way the system works is the nutrients are pumped up from the reservoir into the grow beds. The nutrients from the grow beds drain out past the worm bin compartment through the tubing and back into the reservoir after the plant's feeding is done. The key is to align the drain of the grow beds up with the drain holes on the Rubbermaid tops. I set up my system as an ebb and flow process, so once I align my drains with the Rubbermaid top, I drill my grow beds for the quarter inch irrigation plumbing. I carefully push the quarter inch connector through the grow bed. I checked to make sure it all lined up with my first drain, then finished up with my second grow bed. I checked everything for leaks and that I could get the right ebb and flow process. Here's a shot of the worm bin and how the drain goes through the worm bin to the reservoir. And here is the system all set up. So again, this is basically just combining your compost with hydroponics. You get both benefits all in one space. If you have other solutions, share at greendesert.org. Don't forget to like the video and pass it along. Thanks for watching.